cells of vertebrates or in all vertebrates, including in humans, um, we have two types of visual cells, um, the rods um, that we use for vision in dim light or at night, and the cones that we use for vision in bright light and also for color vision. Um, most animals possess the two types, the rods and the cones, and you have a few exceptions, for example, the deep sea fishes, because they are active mainly in dim light condition, uh, they lost all their cones in favor of the rod cells that are very sensitive to light. Most deep sea fish, or what we consider deep sea fish, would be below um, 200 meters. And below 1,000 and 200 meters, the fish that live there, usually they perform uh, migration towards the surface at night to feed. Uh, they do that for two reasons. Uh, first reason is because more food are found at the surface and the second reason is uh, they really want to hide from predators so during the day they hide at depth and then at night when it's dark they migrate to the surface and eat the food so that's the normal um, behavior of the fish um, the fish we've been looking at the pearl site they have a very different behavior so first of all, they live a little bit shallower than normal deep sea fish. They are present around 200 meters during the day. And they are only going to migrate at the surface at dusk and dawn. So they're only eating at the surface at that time, meaning that they have very different light condition than a normal deep sea fish. At dusk and dawn at the surface, they will have intermediate light level. And normally in this condition, most animals will use both rods and cones to see. In the pearl site, what we found is that instead of processing uh, both rods and cones, they actually combine the characteristic of both cells into a new cell type that we named a rod-like cone. So this cell looks like a rod in the morphology, so as a morphology of a rod, but as a light-sensitive protein of a cone. And what we found is that this cell was the best and most efficient solution um, to see during the specific light condition, which are dusk and dawn or twilight. There are several significances uh, to our findings. The so first one is like it helps better understanding how animals um, see and interact in their environment, and in the case of deep sea fishes, how they have adapted to conquer this uh, very extreme environment. And second significance is it's kind of challenging what we've previously known about the visual system in vertebrates in general. And as humans, we really like to um, categorize things into boxes or black and white. And that's what has been done with the cones and the rods, two cell types that are very different but do something very specific. And all results actually show that uh, it's not always what it seems. And our fish is doing something very different by combining the um, two cells into one um, cell type. And that really stresses the need to do uh, more comprehensive uh, studies of the visual system in general, and also um, us visual scientists to be a bit more careful how we categorize uh, rods and cones uh, into a specific cell type.